Microsoft has made it increasingly difficult to log in without a Microsoft account, and it's very confusing because you no longer see the option to log in with a local account. So what we do is instead we choose the Domain Join button. We'll click that. Even though we're not going to be joining a domain, we choose that anyway. So we're going to put in the letter X for the username, but you, of course, want to put your own name in there. And I'm going to put in the password. Next, I got to put in the password again. And now you got to create your security questions. I'm just going to choose the letter X just because we're doing demonstration here. All right, so now we're going to get some additional options. Not going to synchronize across multiple devices, but you can certainly choose that if you'd like. And I don't really want the digital assistant, but again, you can choose that. I like to turn off all of these options that we see here just to keep things from being tracked. So it's just a good privacy exercise to turn those off, but you can choose to turn those on if there's any of those that you need. And now there's going to be a several minute delay while it sets up the Windows desktop. And now our Windows 10 desktop is all set up. And how do we know that we logged in with a local account? Well, if we open up Control Panel and we go to the Users icon, User Accounts, we can see the letter X, Local Account, Administrator, so we know that it is a local account. So even though we chose the domain join and we did not join a domain, it still created the local account and we have full administrator access without logging in with a Microsoft account.